done. Uh, right, welcome. Sorry, I forgot that I have to, even though I just hit transition, but I forgot that I had to do it. <laughs> Anyways, um, welcome to today's episode where you have myself, Wale, and Wannabe. James has decided to ditch us today and is living his best life somewhere out in the world. Um, as of as for what we're going to be going through today, um, we're going to be talking about HLD, as in high level design, and what tools we're going to use for the diagrams, and hopefully also we get started as well. Yeah, we've been left alone for a week, and we're going to do, draw some pretty pictures uh, for a change. But no, um, I guess there is screen now. Yeah, you want to share my screen and we can kind of go through where we started. We haven't got very, very far yet. And we're kind of, we're first step just deciding the tool that we want to use. I think there's some discussions throughout that. So um, some of the ones that I would be tempted to flick between is we have um, Droyo is the classic sort of free one. We have all your little, little boxes you, that kind of snap to grid and, and you have your little lines and stuff which are fairly simple for you, like your process flows um this works quite well but some of it sometimes it gets a little bit when you get into the i guess if you want specific things it can be quite hard to get this to put lines exactly where you want them i have problems with that um what I've been using at work actually is Miro. I'm quite enjoying this. This is quite nice to use, but this is no. monthly. You're not a fan of Miro? Nope. It's just too much going on. <laughs> Fair I enough. like simplicity. Um, the other one that I'd be tempted to run in is you Affinity Designer. Build them in here, which is, right. this isn't meant designed as a kind of flowchart building tool. This is a graphic design tool, but it does mean we have full control over where everything goes. We can get it to look exactly how it likes, we like. I don't know if you have any opinions on which tool you think is best. There's also Eraser. Check out Eraser. Eraser. Yes, please. Eraser IO. I think that's the word that, yeah. Uh, Razor you know, stunning diagram and second is the AI tool. Okay, there was no AI last time I checked it out, but um, <laughs> that's nice. Um, so actually, I was introduced to this like sometime last year or towards the end of the year before. Uh, it's nice, and I think this is the one you can also do diagram as code. I'm not sure. This is the one as well. Uh, what does it say? If not, then. All in one markdown editor and collaborative canvas and diagram as code builder. Yeah. So, which one are you actually like preferring as in, yeah, like what you would? I would go for the graphic design tool because I'm very picky about how things look, but I understand that it means things take a lot longer to build. So I'm happy to do something else if you don't want to come into graphic design world with me and, and build stuff and have stuff built very sort of fine grained. I mean, also, if you if you have, um, let's just think about this, right? There's three of us. Both of us now have the same graphic design tool. It might be a good way for you to learn the tool if we have the same diagrams, because what we could do is we would sync it to a space in our in here in our Google Drive. Yeah, and then we can edit them. Do you want to yeah. do that? I don't mind that, but what I was trying to get at is the fact that obviously James doesn't have it. Well, he should have been here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i mean i don't mind it because so far you're proving yourself with this design tool so yeah for people on stream it's what i do the um, like the banner designs and stuff like that and there which we can maybe go through so let me set up new folder uh, 
and do it in a way that actually will work nicely for file systems because spaces are horrible. Uh, cool. Do you remember how to link these to? Oh, so do you have the folder not on your laptop? I can't remember where I sunk things to. I'll go through my finder and see. Uh, okay, so just open your. Um, oh, app yeah. Have it here. You have thingy installed. Do you have Do you have one a Google Drive installed? This is, yeah, I have it here. Okay, yeah. Then you can probably move it into your favorite um, and pin it there to the folder. T-shirt so and shared. I think this just needs to populate probably. Uh, let me put something in here that's just a temp file, and then that should come through. Yeah. Uh, can I just do a text file? I wonder if that'll pull up. Test. It's felt horribly. Cool. Cool. And that hopefully will have filled that out. Uh, and I need to find it. Yeah, there we go. We've got it. So, and we want to use the second one because um, I've recently, well, not that recently, I upgraded, but I upgraded just after we started um, DCO. So I'd create, created all the graphics in version one. So we're going to start off in version version two. And that launches. Um, when you say version two, so you already have the version two, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I have a license for version two, but I just haven't migrated the files across, which I will I will do oh. at some point, but we can maybe do looking, it. When we're looking at the extra stuff you get, at the, so, so you already have those extra stuff. Then. Yeah, I have all that nonsense. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't dare to open this uh, tool right now. <laughs> my, my machine is already working the hardest right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, stuff like we can have a look at. Let me see if I have that folder. This is like our, our YouTube yeah. banner, which is stuff like that. And we can have all the all the layers and stuff in here. Is this one synced to um, the Google Drive as well now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, interesting. I split up those traces. All right, let me check my Google Drive. But quick. We're going to uh, start a new one. Let's save that. Our stops. My drive. Hmm. Console TLS DCO admin shared. What? Um, oh. Guess what? We all get our individual. Um, yeah. So it has to be in a shared folder that we then. I did. Uh, yeah, the new drive is um, in the admin shared. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have it on my. Hold on, actually, give me a second. Yeah, no, I don't have it. So, but I feel like that's something we can sort out after. What do we want to map out first? Do we want to map out our services or do you want to do infra? Uh, I would say infra. Okay. So what's the size of the thing? Because, um, you know, like with the diagram tool, um, tools, you don't have to worry about the palette or whatever you call this. Um. Yeah, the canvas. Yeah, canvas, yeah. Uh, I've just set this to A3 for the sake of this. And let me set up some, some layers There's for this. So we'll probably start with a background layer. Yeah, just, and going to be a bit, use our color scheme that we have in the other docs to do this. So I don't know how much you have messed around with graphic softwares, but essentially lay layers are your friend. Uh, oh, yeah. Similar to Photoshop. So yeah. When you do Photoshop, you have to do, I mean, it's, it's going to have best ways layering. My color palette, I think. 
Oh, and then now you can actually can you grab those layers from there, move them over. Yeah, I can grab different layers, but anyway, but it's also I can grab the swat color swatches as well. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. So let's start creating. Uh, you know, I haven't even talked about what we want to create. Just... So we said we're going to do an info one. So I guess. Yeah, but like, okay, so high level, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be just very very high level. Uh, cool. That layer, and let me save this so we can start uh, my shared drive. Or sound on my drive. Yeah. Uh, graphics. No design docs. Uh, and what did we want to put a new folder in here called HLDs? Yeah. Yeah. HLDs and then infra. And this is in the shared, right? I missed that. Yep. Yeah, this is in our shared thing. So you can see it's syncing. Right. So let's grab this. At some point, maybe go in and grab some like Google, um, Google logos and stuff. Uh, if we grab, Ooh, for lo oh, damn. so for logos, I actually had this website that I kept on my, but it's on my work laptop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can just steal colors from here, which is nice. Uh, I think that will stay. No, let me grab. You can just grab that whole thing. Yeah, I can grab NASA. Yeah. And use that as can a we, can, we the, can we not just grab that? Can you group them together and then grab, put them in here and reduce the size that way? Why would we, why do you want the whole rectangle for the, um, the, um, the logo? So we will have it as like a logo. Oh, you want the logo in the background? Yeah. Why not? Yes. We can oh, do that. Like, because I would uh, reduce the opacity. So it's fully like the whole picture there, but reduced opacity. Mm -hmm. It might not be that nice, but since we want creative creativity. Why? Sorry, let me just get that color to color to take. There we go. Uh, that and you said you wanted we probably want the uh, the regular banner then. Uh, open. To root through my files now to find. Uh, uh, it would be in graphics. graphics. Yeah, I need to. Depends. I have the folder as well. Just wasn't looking the right place. Yeah, I put everything in the logo. Uh, Affinity files. Uh, oh, the last time we touched this folder was banner. November. Last year. Yay. Probably take out some of the traces from this because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Also, it's going to be the wrong aspect ratio because it was set up for, I think, the YouTube banner. That's what the aspect ratio was set up for. Mm. Also, I was a little lazy and just um, created it so the bits went <laughs> over the screen. Uh, yeah, I want the center to be at. 205. Although I don't think this is centered in itself. Uh, right. You happy with that as the background? Uh, can we change the opacity? Yes, we should be able to. Because the diagram, I feel like they would not be fighting for attention. Yeah, 
for I mean we can always change it after when the diagram is done fully. Go for a twenty percent. Yeah. So the uh, zero is still somewhere in there. No, I guess maybe if we delete this, if we can use this as like a base for yeah. diagrams. File save as and need to go back into here. My drive. And design docs. Uh, and then we'll just call the design. Save that. And then, right. Now we can start adding layers. So bring back that square. The font thing. How much? So I guess the first layer, everything we have. Do we have anything outside GCP? I guess. Yeah, everything is. Um, oh, we still we have Cloudflare as well. Yes. There's not very much in Cloudflare, so let's create a nice box for GCP. Uh, let's just make this square. Eighty by two eighty, and then lock the aspect ratio. Uh, text and B, and get that to be that color. I can be real, real dumb here for a. Uh, let's watch it as, there we go, GCP. Uh, we can work on the font. <laughs> font later. God, indeed. And we don't need to be that zoomed in. There we go. GCP. So, do we want to do networking in this or just? Okay. Our info because we don't have a huge amount because we I guess we can start with the boxes. Yeah, let's yeah let's see how we would, how we go first because in GCP we do have a firewall, right? Yeah, so I'm just trying to oh, that's sitting there. Don't worry. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, GCP because all of this should live in here. Let's do this GCP. And what, what that essentially does, if I grab, uh, if I expand this and grab this rectangle, if I try and move it out, you'll see it cuts cuts it off as it moves. Oh, okay. Which is quite nice, so it can't live outside of outside of GCP. It doesn't exist outside. Nice. So, networking. And uh, it. Two hundred by two hundred. We just have one VPC, right? Oh. Goes uh, to the house yeah. of making it square. Yeah. I mean, um, with GCP's projects actually. So projects folder. Project folder okay. again. Yeah. Then let's grab this. Project of cast ops. I'm just looking into GCP now to see the real nested layers. Yeah. So, how do I see what our resources are that we have in here? Uh, 
I think we have cloud function as well. Cloud function. Yeah, like either this one there. Unless you're wondering some about something else. Sorry, I think I've just got my layers. So we have the project that's there, and then that lives inside the project, and then. Project dev cast ops is this one, and then that's that one. Cool. Uh, so this is. Do we need a full folder, or is it VCP? I guess I should have um, uh, GCP open. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So I am in the billing, just to have an idea of all the other stuff we have. Cloud NAT. Okay. We have networking, compute engine, storage image. If you see, mm. oh, yeah, we have our main main network, which I think is just how because everything's sat in a mm. private network, and that's our VPC. Oh, it's slightly annoying. <laughs> Just for, okay. I'm going to set these all to the same size because as I'm shrinking the um, boxes as I copy them, the fonts mm -hmm. are shrinking proportionally as well, which sometimes you want, other times not so much. 35. Next. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> There we go. And then five. Cool. This be main. Should we get focused on getting everything inside and then we can do yep. design? So we want, what do we have in here? We have our server. Yeah. Reserved server. I think that's what he called it as well. No, commit. Yeah, commitment. <laughs> commitment. Yeah. Uh, that's the SKU, SKU for our computer engine. Commitment. For one year. Oh, wow. It even tells you. Oh. That's it. Compute. What is it called? Uh, server we won't be having bag, um, the log icons in there oh, we can get those i know where those are uh, oh, okay now i'm trying to see how they fit into this design right, good. Uh, ready to go on it. oh we don't need them now i just I've just not seen the vision in terms of where they're gonna go. But if you see it, then that's fine. Uh, it's gonna live in my downloads folder as they always do. Uh, right, mark only. Uh, oh, is this not? Oh, product locus is what I want. Yeah, I did the same. I downloaded it. Yeah. <laughs> I um, always forget about that. Yeah. Typography and stuff we can leave for now. Find a pick up uh, to the top. Am I just being done? No, we go, product logos. Uh, so we have Nomad, Nomad Community. I think we just want the Nomad, which has the branded one. Nomad on dark. Ooh, that one. There we go. That's what we want. 
So grab that, tab back to here, no mode. And we have Vault running. Yes, we do. We have console running as well. So VOD and console. I always, my brain still goes back to the old logo where this was a full full keypad pad. Whenever I look at it fully and there's just two lines instead of the three above, yeah. uh, it, it's still, my brain wants to correct it to what it used to be. Go complain at the marketing team. <laughs> because if, you know, the old, the old logo had, when it had circles and colors, um, it used to, right. So this has these on it. And then let me grab this. And God, I really want to convert those curves. Uh, what do you want to call the like child servers or worker nodes? Uh, client or worker? Yeah, I think client is no most terminology. Client servers. Uh, uh, attempt to try and do something a little fancy. Oh, one more thing, actually, I realized. This is going to be really weird. In the VPC main, I'm not sure if it's inside or next to VPC main, we'll have um, Cloudflare. No, actually, uh, Cloudflare is inside the box. This, you see how you have... Yeah, it's in, yeah, in that box. Yeah, in that box, actually. Yeah, Cloudflare is inside box. So that's I'll add a... Yeah. Let me grab this. Uh, no, let's put a note. It says Cloudflare down the bottom. Let me see if I can find it for you. I've gone into background. Uh, they should be living in here. And then this. If you won't believe this, Cloudflare have their own, the same thing as well. So you can use the same. There you go. go down branding kit. Yeah. Open to everyone. Sorry, I'm just doing a little bit of cheeky little bit of editing to get that line. I think I can make these dotted as well. To sig you happy for dotted lines to signal ephemeral room yeah. servers? Yeah, let's do that, yeah. Uh, in, in our documentation, we just say, uh, we just need to mention that. No, not that. Oh, we can go. We can get better, better dots than that. Uh, you know, when you after zooming out, they won't even look like dots anymore. <laughs> I think it has to be thin and a bit more spacious. Set dots. So, oh god, it's been. What are these phase? If I do, oh, I think it's pixels. So if I do five, yeah, five and five. Mm. And then same for you, because, well, points. I wonder what the other ones do. Mm -hmm. What if I do this? Oh, that's kind of cool. So I, can, oh, I keep on clicking on the background stuff. 
Uh, let me just hide that for now, so I don't click on it. What is that? Extra? Oh, is that what you're trying to get rid of? That extra? Yeah. Sure. What? yeah. No, because um, I don't know if you've seen it before. Essentially, if you're running multiple boxes, uh, you often have yes that kind yeah. of stack. So yeah. that's to stack. We it. should probably have one more than that, isn't it? You want to? You want a third? No, 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 no. Now that you've zoomed out, it's fine. I know where you're going. Don't worry. We can have another but one. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Point proven. I think that's a, a little bit too low. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, that looks like it connects. And then that overlaps. Good. There you go. Client servers and the client servers just uh, Minecraft. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get into the layer of um, what applications that we run on them. Did you say you oh. pinged across the um, um, yeah. Cloudflare thing? Is it yeah, so for traffic, traffic will go onto the client server, right? Because that's our uh, balancer for Nomad. Yeah, I think traffic's on our... Yeah, remember, we, um, our server is also our client, but traffic actually goes onto the client. Uh, good sign so vault. So this is our like paired back bit that we have at the moment with mm -hmm. just our main server, but it is also a client called main server, which is a little bit confusing. And it is running TFC or TFC agent and traffic. Yeah. I think for this, we might leave this to like a nomad um, design doc rather than um, like things that are actually running inside Nomad. Yeah, because okay. they're all inside inside Nomad. Um, so I was grabbing the the Cloudflare ones. Press get uh, Cloudflare trans. So they just have the transparent logo. Oh, classic. Uh, I mean, we have a dark background, so this would go really well with it. That's not transparent. <laughs> I uh, right mouse click to copy it as a PNG maybe. Because it might be Yeah. No. Uh, copy image. No. <laughs> Weird um one. Um yeah, but I Am I just being real stupid, or is this wow. images, press kit, download images, videos, and B-roll images, clan, trials, I can download logo. Uh, save link files down. Let's see if that one, I don't think it did, but the looks of it, yeah, that's why. Okay. Um, we maybe will come back and fix that at another time. Yeah, but you can still add something in there for that, right? I can also spell Cloudflare, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how I was looking at it, but I didn't even realize that was wrong. I always put, I my brain always wants to put an extra L in Cloud. I don't know what it is. I just, I guess I could put that logo in for now uh, yeah. with the view of fixing it later. Because it will keep bugging you, but the text looks fine. So you might, if that one might not bug you. Yeah, the text is in an appropriate location. This is this rectangle, so these should all live in here. Let's rename this. Uh, rename this to um, main server. See what I mean about the layers? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it means we can just keep track of where everything is. Uh, cool. <laughs> I was like, did I get the right one? I was like, well, I kind of have to get the right one because if I got the wrong one, um, it would disappear. 
But that also now means that when we move the boxes, those icons will also naturally be inside the boxes. Regardless. Yes. Because you've now said that they can't live outside of it. Well, it's funny because I can I can grab the whole layer like this and move that and yeah, like that. server yeah. in. Even though you didn't group them. Like But I can still yeah, they're not they're not grouped in a sort of traditional grouping sense. Exactly. I can still grab this and do yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, this is actually much better, to be fair. Because with the other way uh, that I know, you group them properly. So then, like, if you really now want to move this C or N, you have to ungroup them in order to do that. But this is much better. Where's the text? Yeah, well, it's uh, underneath, but it's, oh. we can just cut off. We can essentially give it a logo and make it look like a footnote. Uh... <laughs> no, because no. <laughs> it doesn't look like a service to me. Yeah, fair enough. Well, are we saying that the whole main server is a cloud? It is a cloud. But it's not cloud player. We'll come and put that back in at another yeah. another point. Um, sorry, I'll say another layer for grouping um, the client servers. So then I can put the boxes in as well. Um, we consider uh, Minecraft. Because want... Minecraft is not really actually no, it is running on no Minecraft, it but it's raw exec. So no, it's not actually. It's Java. Sorry, don't worry. Ignore me. <laughs> Answer my question. Uh, Bang. There we go. So I think that's it. We don't put the bulb uh, in the middle. You want bulb centered. Yeah. And then that way, yeah. And then Cloudflare centered as well at the bottom. So it looks like a face. Oh. It's not a smiling face, but hey. 15.7. I don't know if you can see the, the numbers coming. Yeah, yeah. it just showing up. So, oh, that's us saying 10, 20, 10. I think I might just move everything down slightly. Or how what's, uh, get this so it's 10 from the text as well. So you kind of have the little, little square. Um, yeah. Just a little bit nicer spacing. And then curve that cloud flare. And then we have a nice smile. <laughs> I think that is a way to warp things, but. Uh... No, 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 no. I was joking because we're ruining their logo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what they would. I don't think they would appreciate that. No, they probably wouldn't. There's, it's funny with those branding kits, like what I was like the recommended um, way to to do all of that. Yeah, because they gave it to us, so we don't mess it up for them. Oh, I know what we're missing. But this diagram assumes that people know those, what those logos represent. Yeah, that's kind of the point of diagrams, isn't it? Oh no. Uh, so recently, when I created my diagram for Devil's Playground, I ran it by James. James was like, oh, yeah, because I was like, oh, James, do you understand this diagram? Based off this, can you tell what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, 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 it makes sense. And I shared it with Sunil. Sunil started asking me loads of questions. I'm like, wait, is my diagram not making that much sense? It was like, no. I can't tell what you're trying to do. Is this a pipeline? What is this? I was like, yeah, this is supposed to represent a pipeline. So if, if he looked at this right now, I don't think he'll understand it. So uh, I guess it kind of depends who, who your audience is for. Reset that. Oh, is that not gonna... No, it's because we, you and James have worked on this so much. We'll know it. If anybody else looks at this. Might be a bit. Mm. Actually, we know what GCP is the. Uh, we know what. 
Oops, I realized this one to <sighs> something quickly, which means we'd bath with layers if I take that out. Did that come out? Nope. Uh, Do you have to install the uh, work laptop as well? Um, no, I have been considering doing it though, but I haven't. You are paying for it, so. I don't think they'll they'll flag you up as something you need to delete. I have um, Affinity, not Affinity, InDesign at work. Yeah, because I got flagged for Obsidian. They're like, oh, it's either you have, because Obsidian is not for Enterprise, unless I'm paying for it. I was like, yeah. I'll see how long I can keep my obsidian on my machine for. So I'm just trying to um, resize a couple of boxes quickly. I just to resize that GCP box because I realized we have our storage as well that lives. Um, Ooh, and the image, that's the GCP service. Would you put images in the um, your infrastructure diagram? Because they don't really, no. they don't really yeah. exist. Normally. Yeah, and I check when I check the billing, even we don't, we're not even getting charged for that. So yeah, no. Nah. Okay, I can now. Sorry, I can now put all my layers back together because. The problem that we had there. Uh, oh, no. Project. Wait, can you hear the birds? Yeah, they're outside my window. Sorry. It's parakeets. Oh. Nice. There we go. Now we have everything nice down. Okay. Is it in the. So Cloudflare will come PC? next to. VPC. Cloudflare, we host the Cloudflare agent on that server that we connect to. I don't know if we have any ingress. That's... So the reason I was asking is because obviously Cloudflare is also a service, just like GCP is, right? So it shouldn't it be in its own box where then an arrow can't, because it creates a tunnel, right? So so Cloudflare egress. So we have a Cloudflare agent running on that box. Box. So this box has a Cloudflare agent running on, that's why we have that there. And yeah. then if we were making this into a network diagram, we'd have like an egress, which showed the, the traffic leaving there to go to the user. Um, All right, we're not. I keep forgetting, see, that's my problem. I keep forgetting to focus just on the main thing. Because right now, I was going to put, if that was me, I'll put another box next to that, saying Cloudflare, and then point it. But then now we're going more deeper. Uh, so, is it just? Can you remember what we call? Do we just have the one disk, which is the? Oh, I have a funny feeling we do, because we set up. I set up a disk to do the persistent storage for gaming, and then I don't think we don't use any other storages. Yeah, we don't have any buckets. Oh, we do have some buckets. What is inside that? Maybe logs? Cloud formation bucket. Temp resources. Delete temp resources. Oh, is this for your oh your scripts? Yeah, what it, that that's interesting. I didn't set up a bucket. Oh at least I don't remember setting up a bucket. I wonder if I reckon, do you reckon disks are on the compute? Should be, yeah. Desk compute engine. Yeah, we only have two. No mad data. Is that what that's called now? Uh, it always confuses me when it says try HTTP Terraform. It's like I have HTTP Terraform. <laughs> Let me log in. <laughs> uh, is this from GCP? Oh, no, it's not game storage. It's 
persistent storage, I think. Uh -huh. uh, outputs. This works with some many outputs. Resources. One. Oh, I wish I could get more data about this. Let's go to our GitHub. I really should organize this a little bit better. So repose. I think it's just called stateful. Uh, GCP stateful. Uh, variables. Uh, department core app nomad storage disk. Where is the name? It's not the right name. Type size labels. God, it's been a long time since I've looked at this. Uh, disks. Name format. Does it each dot key data? Uh, uh, I used the variable structure to build it. Um, yes, it's just nomad data. So we want to grab. Oh, oh this is all in the wrong place again. Uh, that's fine. Grab this. Um, put this here, I guess. Grab some text. Desk. Are you saving on that? Sorry? Are you saving as you go? Oh, I probably should save. That's a good point. Uh, and save it as something that's not a blank design, uh, HDLs. Uh, Wait, so what have you saved before then? I just saved the template with the back. Um, but uh, if I do file, open resource, blank design, okay. is that one? OK, 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 so that one's different, OK. Which, that is still there. It's just hidden at the moment. So if I crunch this, you can see. Yes, yeah, that's what it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. It's not really distracting. The <laughs> sorry, these aren't level, and this one up. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, don't get this one because we're messing around in here, which is no, this one. And I think this will look better as one line, so let's make it a slightly smaller font. If I use the right one, 30. And then this links to both. So we can do linking. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> So the fun thing about this is we can turn this should live in there. Um, you can turn anything in this to curves. So if you have something selected and you click on this, it will turn it into into curves. So let's go from here, I guess, to link to these servers first. Do you want curvy lines? So they're not in the yeah. <laughs> Uh, not too curved. Maybe, maybe just like an L shape. Okay, let's add another point. So that goes there. Go around there. We can pull you down like so. And we want to go probably something like that. Okay. So then what we can do to be cheeky, if I grab this, it will let me attach like so. And then I can go like this, because it links to both servers. And then grab this, and then pull that over like so. 
maybe make this a different color. Get this to be the blue, I guess. Probably the. Um, the neater way to do this to show linkage, because otherwise they just get lost amongst the orange. So turn this back on. And I want something that's this one color. Grab that. Go back to this. My curves, which were in the wrong plane. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that one. This That's one. Good. Oh, I'm going to do something real dumb. Oh, okay. So. Uh, oh, I didn't save the swatch. Does it have a swatch? I spent ages faffing around with these colors when I was building it. So they're not one of the standard ones. So you and if I then go back to these and do that, I know this may seem a bit um, weird, but well, let's let's let you finish first, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this. Okay, now we have that. Perfect. And then fill none. Give me this curve, stroke, uh, this, there. There we go. Cool. I don't think we really have anything more in our infrastructure at the moment. It's all very, very simple. Um, Paka would be a HCP one, isn't it? That would be in the kind of um, architecture or like application architecture rather than sort of server mm. instead of infrastructure. Mm. And we never actually wrote a pipeline, right? For any we have that. a GitHub Actions job, I think, to build. God. I don't remember us doing any GitHub actions. I think we have a GitHub action shop that builds. Oh, Ooh, initially when me and you wanted to do a Terraform for Packer and then James made us use Ansible for Packer. I'm not sure if we now finished that day to put it to a pipeline. I can't even remember how you find GitHub Actions. Do you know where they are? Oh, it will be in the fold, so in the repository itself. Find oh, the okay. repo, no, repo. Yeah, it will be the Packer repo. Yeah. Okay. Packer images. So, yep, yeah, there's one. Yeah, that one has one. Yeah, so this builds are Packer images. It's in workflows, GitHub slash workflows, the first one, the first folder. Yeah. Yeah. I just think this is incredibly simple. Where this is set up is. I just want to see what's inside it. Uh, okay, park in it, and that's it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, pack a build, pack a build. Yep. And what are we using Ubuntu? Okay, so we didn't create our own runner. No, we just used it a while ago. Use this one. When was this done? That was me as well. Five oh, months ago. Okay. That explains a lot. <laughs> I guess that's kind of it for our, our infra. Uh, I know it. Actually, we can't finish yet. You have <laughs> to export and push it onto... Actually, no, we're not. Yeah, you just have to export only because we're not putting it onto any repository yet. We should definitely, as part of one of the known core jobs that we have, we should have a documentation. Um, I, do, I need to find out um, what the guys at work were using again. That's the whole website was yeah. actually GitHub. So this is all the various things we can export to for this. Uh, we just want a PNG. I don't think we need PNG, right? Because we're not. It's It like, holds, I think it. the way a PNG is built, it will hold the vectors, so it will scale better. 
I don't know. Whereas a JPEG will be a bigger file, which won't scale as well. All right, let's do that. Uh, cool. Actually, hold on. Before we go, I think Ansible, Ansible Ducks, Ansible Ducks, they use Google. Ah, uh, Google. They use their documentation page is actually a. It's GitHub. Yeah. How do they do it? GitHub handles PNG is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just quickly looking at um I'm looking at what I spoke about in terms of having a documentation page. And Cool. Yeah, so I think eventually we'll start putting these into the repos that they attach to because our, our readmes are atrocious. That's, that's the problem. This is why I said we can't do that. We need to actually create a whole, like, we need to deploy our own something like Confluence. So yeah. we'll just be like docs.devcastops.com. You, you can, can just build these into the, the readme. I guess this would probably sit somewhere in here it's, would be the closest we have, we have different folders they're all kind of linked interlinked and i'd rather not put them in every folder that every repository that it links up to i think you can reference um images from other repositories as long as they're public in markdown you don't have to reference it from the same same one but yeah i think yeah. that's one one for another day but yeah our first <laughs> First doc, at some, I think I maybe will try and um, cut out this Cloudflare logo at some point to yes. be clean, but that'll just be me sitting around in Photoshop and, or Affinity Photos to mess with that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Starting to map out how our infrastructure actually works. Yay. So um, thank you for today. Don't forget to like or um, follow and subscribe youtube and twitch thank you very much <laughs> Bye -bye. thank you for watching see you next week